one else will do Morning, gang. You guys know our mission, to introduce people to Jesus and together fully follow him. Well, that second part, together fully follow him, we get that from the book of Acts, where the first church is being described. And in that description, there are five behaviors that are pointed out. Gather, connect, serve, get out, and live generously. For me, the first four, the first four are second nature. Gather, connect, serve, and get out. You know my personality you can see how those would come naturally for me. But number five, live generously, that one doesn't come as easily. In Acts 2, 44 and 45, it says, all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. That one freaks me out. There are two types of people in this world, savers and spenders. And I'm one of the savers. It's who I am. I hate spending money. Half of you out there can't wrap your head around that. But I'm guessing you can wrap your head around feeling judged for being a spender. I can remember being told, you're such a good little saver. But I've never heard someone say, you're such a good little spender. Some of the biggest spenders I know are the most generous people I know. They live with their hands outstretched and God fills them up and his generosity flows through them. Saving is a good thing. It's responsible. It requires discipline. It's the wise thing to do. But if we're not careful, we can creep beyond saving to being selfish and tight-fisted. Jesus said in Matthew 6, 21, where your heart, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Jesus knows our hearts better than we do. He knows that because I'm a saver, I can tend to hold on to things too tightly. And when I do that, I'm saying, God, I trust you, but I don't trust you enough to let go of this. It has taken me years to learn to live with my hands open, and I still have a long way to go. My prayer is that we learn to live generously and that our heart's desires are not for things, but for him alone. Jesus, draw us close to you. Never let us go. You're all we want. You're all we've ever needed, Lord. Bring us back to you. Amen.